Good evening. One week from tonight, week one of the Indiana high school football season kicks off. Tonight, teams got ready for their regular season with scrimmages. And just like the teams, Sports 10 is getting ready for another great season of high school football. Remember, no one covers more games than Sports 10. And you'll be able to see all the highlights right here on In the Zone. To get you warmed up tonight, we have a mini In the Zone. We'll start with Terre Haute South at home against Northview. The Knights got to meet the brick wall known as South defensive lineman Junior Barry. Hello, that's a four yard loss. Northview is going to be a team that runs the ball a lot this year. Kelly Hawkins is their scat back. Nice pickup. South QB Danny Etling finds Tyler Cyber and look at the move Cyber puts on the linebacker. The Northview defender is still tackling air. Cyber needs to be on dancing with the stars with those kind of moves. That was a 32 yard reception. Ian Newton finishes the drive, pounding it into the end zone from a yard out. I've talked about Danny Etling all offseason and all the national pub he got. This is why the South QB airing it out. Beautiful deep ball to Nick Keller for the long touchdown pass. Keller had himself a good scrimmage. You know opponents are going to want to get their hands on Etling. Knights freshman linebacker Jacob Dean sacks the superstar. South does a great job with the screen pass. Etling to Pedro Poloni, number 25 in red, races 40 yards to the house. Northview freshman QB Tucker Stewart goes over the middle to another freshman Hunter Reagan who hauls in the touchdown and double coverage. That's a great grab. Etling shows why he committed to Purdue. He fires a BB to Keller for another score. What a pass. South back to their bread and butter the screen pass. Etling to Michael Watt. The brave sophomore makes a couple of nice moves and gets into the end zone. Terre Haute South opens the season next week on the road at Indian Creek. Northview is at home against Broad Ripple. Terre Haute North hit the road for their scrimmage tonight. They were at Bloomington North. Patriots facing fourth and long. Chris Barrett drops back for the screen and hits brother Skank. And brother does the rest. Look at number four. Rumble down the sidelines all the way inside the Cougars 30-yard line. Very next play, Barrett finds his big tight end Calvin Blank for six. I'll tell you what, if Blank was on my team, the ball would be going to him a lot. The guy's a monster. He's huge, has speed. Yes, if you're wondering, I'm his PR guy. I'm kidding, but he is good. There's a reason he's going to Ball State. Blank calls in another score. Nice pass by Barrett on the play. This past offseason, Ricky Brookins competed at the National Underclassmen Combine in Indy. He shows here why he won the overall MVP award at the Combine. Brookins took North down the field and of course you have to reward the guy who got you there. Patriots do as Brookins goes right through the heart of the Cougars defense. Barrett nice touch on the fade to the corner of the end zone to Austin Lewis. Lewis a Western Michigan recruit is another great weapon for North. Patriots ball inside the five. Brother Skank takes the pile into the end zone. Terre Haute North will be at Castle next week. The Patriots owe the Knights after Castle won at North last year 44 to nothing. West Vigo hosted North Vermillion. Falcons got the ball first and they march down the field. QB Brayton Woodard rolls out and fights Wade Harrison in the end zone. Touchdown, North Vermillion. The West Vigo defense would step up. Harrison on the sweep is met by Vikings junior Sam Bowden for a big loss. Vikings ball, Skyler Warnock takes the toss, gets around the corner and picks up the first down and 15 more with the late hit out of bounds. Later in the drive, Vikings QB Jimmy Maples calling his own number. Smart idea, number one, showing off some speed, picks up nine yards. If you don't know much about North Vermillion, learn something about them. They're going to be good this year. That's Woodard with the pick. This team won sectionals last year and returned a ton of starters. It helps when you have great athletes like Woodard. Check out the 5'11 junior, get spun around after breaking two tackles, and still find Pater. Woodard wasn't done. Bad snap, no problem for him. He goes 10 yards and dives in for six more for North Vermillion. The Falcons are going to be a dangerous team in Class A. They open at Turkey Run next week. West Vigo starts their season at home against Evansville Harrison. One team that everyone should be paying attention to, and not just in this area, but the entire state is Linton. The Miners are very good this year, but they have the potential to be state good. Linton scrimmaging tonight at Cloverdale. Miners star quarterback Austin Carazia throws to the end zone. Dane Repska just leaps over the cornerback to take the ball away for the score. Carazia one year ago led the state in passing. The kid can fire the ball all over the field. He hits Grant Stam in stride, and the Miner turns on the afterburner. Goodbye. The Miners go to their Wildcat formation. 
Out is Karazia. In is Rupska. He throws in double coverage, but it doesn't matter. Nice concentration by Trent Val for the TD grab. This Linton offense is like the 99 Rams. They were the greatest show on turf. These minors might be the best show on grass this season in high school football. Karazia to Dylan Hancock. When the rankings come out next week, the minors will be highly ranked in Class A. They open at Eastern Green. Sullivan County bragging rights were on the line tonight as the Golden Arrows hosted North Central. I like the Golden Arrows uniforms. They look sharp. Speaking of sharp, Sullivan QB Michael Willis looks in midseason form. He finds Michael Hutchcraft for the touchdown. North Central has a really good player in Chase Van Choik. Couple moves, and he's into the promised land. All this offense, how about some defense? Dylan Boone, he's listening to me, brings down the ball carrier for a loss. Nice play by the Sullivan Golden Arrow. T-Birds go to the air, Dylan Bailey to Van Choik. This, my friends, is an awesome touchdown reception and definitely Rex Rally's material. Sullivan opens with a tough road game at Vincennes Lincoln and North Central is at Union. Remember, next Friday is the real deal, our first full in the zone. The news will be right back.